Now today we're taking a look at the Wi-Fi expander from Rockspace. They are sponsoring this review. However, all the thoughts, results, and opinions will be of my own. So the Wi-Fi extender, they do have a couple different models. Now the one that we're looking at is a 750 megabits per second. This is at dual band, so 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz. And the distinction between the 700 megabits per second is that you can get up to 300 megabits per second on your 2.4 gigahertz and 433 on your 5 gigahertz. So we're going to definitely go ahead and test it out. So let's take a look at the graphic, guys. So this is a good illustration of what a lot of people go through in their household your router is stuck in a certain area and uh, normally the routers they do have a circular range uh, just like this one so it won't shoot directionally or point to the the far locations but it will give you a nice radius around where it's located now what you want to do with a Wi-Fi extender you want to place it in the middle so somewhere right here where you can still get good signal to your router and then you can extend it on to the rest of your household so that's exactly what I'm gonna do today but first let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of the box. there's a chance for you to win a free product do have the quick start guide this is uh, essential especially in this case they do have two main methods uh, how to uh, install this or get this set up on your network I will be going over both but definitely take a look at the quick start guide and any product that you buy guys is gonna have those um, details it's gonna save you some time just take a couple minutes read it over so here it is guys um, it is a hard plastic it does have a, an interesting design if I if anything um, does have a ton of ventilation all over the device top on the sides as well as on the bottom on the bottom we do have an ethernet port and we also do have a reset button do have the two antennas in the front flip up they maxed out about that angle so they can't go any farther back we do have a uh, three led indicators we do have a signal indicator we do have a uh, wps so if you guys are using that connection method that indicator is there and you do have your power below that you do have the wps button and um on most routers what you're going to do is just press wps here then you press wps on the router and that should allow you to connect not the most secure method to uh, connecting your device but that is an option so this does have a, another setup where you can do it via your mobile device and i will be covering that as well and on the back you do have your power plug standard us and just plug it in directly into the wall now, as i said before there are two basic methods to connect to this Wi-Fi extender. The first one is to use a WPS function. This is a lot easier, a lot simpler, and most of you guys might choose to go that route. So to connect via WPS, your router has to have the WPS button or function on it. So you'll go to your router, press your WPS button, then you come back to this device, press the WPS, it will start flashing like it's doing now and in a couple seconds it will connect now if you take this route you will have the same name in your network the passwords will be the same and all you have to do is just find the right location and you're good to go now another way to set up is to use your mobile device first thing you want to do on your mobile device go to your cellular data you want to go ahead and turn that off once you turn it off you're going to go to your Wi-Fi you're going to look for the rock space extender so click on it all right, it's going to connect. It's going to tell you it's unsecured. So once that's clicked, we're going to go to our web browser and we're going to put in this IP address. It's going to be 192.168.0.254. So right now you're going to create a login password. It's going to say for the security of your network, you are recommended to set a login password. This password is used later on in the login. So let me go ahead and set one. Go to next. All right, so select the Wi-Fi network that you want to extend. I'm gonna extend Mojo, enter the password for Mojo, and you can go ahead and choose your SSID or the name of your network. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. That will make it easier for me to recognize that I am connected to this network. So I'm just gonna extend Mojo. And right now, extended successfully, Mojo, as well as Mojo 5G. So it's taking care of both networks, guys, the 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz. So it also gives you some instruction. Move the router halfway between your Wi-Fi router and the dead zone, which we already covered. Use the signal LED to help you relocate a repeater. So saying that blue is proper position, so you have good signal if it's blue, which I do have right there. If it's red, that means that a repeater needs to move closer to your router. If it's gray or off, move the repeater closer to the Wi-Fi router as well. So first thing we're gonna do is do a couple speed tests, and then we're gonna connect to the rock space and see if it improves my speeds.
So the first test is going to be connecting directly to the router, not the extender. Uh, what I um, want to do is just get a baseline of what speeds I'm getting in the best case scenario. So I am paying for 100 megabits per second download, about 10 megabits per second upload. All right, so here are the results for the best case scenario. This is my baseline. Let's go ahead and go downstairs. So this is where we actually dropped out dramatically, guys. You can see our upload and our download on our 2.4 gigahertz went from 55 and 11 to 19 and 1.27. Now, 5 gigahertz did suffer as well. As you can see, we went from 117 all the way to 58 on the download and from 11.8 to 7.7 on the upload so the next test is essentially going to determine if this is worth it so we're going to go ahead and swap over to the wi-fi extender and our goal here is to get better results than we did in the dead spots the results are in guys and as you can see we did get a lot more speed than we did on the second test in the dead zone so on the 2.4 gigahertz we jumped back up to 55 on the download and 11.6 on the upload now that's comparable to what we've seen in the original baseline test which we were standing right next to the router so very very impressed with that result also with the 5 gigahertz we did have uh, equally impressive results we went back to 106 download and 11.7 on the upload so Overall, what I would say is that this definitely does work. It does take some trial and error and placement. Make sure you place it in a good area. Just teeter on that line where it's in enough range to your main router and it's enough to spread to those dead zones in your house. So I will be leaving an Amazon link where you can go ahead and pick this up as well as the model that's 1200 megabits per second. If you guys have any questions about this, just drop it in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up on this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.